The warnings are everywhere, in the shop repair manual and internet forums, and even on the airbag itself, they all say never test the resistance of an inflator using a multimeter. So today we're going to do exactly that to see what happens. Should be an explosive episode of Tool Demos and it starts right now. So inside this inflator you've got two chemicals that work together. One is a fuel that's rich in nitrogen and the other is an oxidizer like ammonium nitrate. When you mix those together with heat, you get a nitrogen cloud that expands very quickly and it'll inflate this airbag in less than 100 milliseconds. That's faster than you can blink your eye. Behind the inflator is an initiator or an igniter. That turns electrical energy into heat really quickly and gets the whole process going. So that's what we're gonna be talking about right now. So this is like holding a lot of gunpowder and you need to have safety measures in place. One of them is on the connector. You can see that inside of the connector, there's a shorting bar just under the pins. And what that does is it shorts out this circuit and it can't be deployed unless it's connected to the vehicle wiring harness. So now that it's connected, if you put a power and a ground to these wires, this can deploy. You can see that that plastic piece right there, that little spade just under the female pin terminals, that is what goes under the shorting bar and it opens up that circuit. All right, the mounting studs will just go in the vise like that. It'll keep this from jumping around on us. And then we'll get about 10 feet back with this test lead set. That'll keep us safe. And the connector will just strip the ends. All right, we'll just connect one to red and one to black. There you go. Okay, so our first test is going to be a resistance measurement of the initiator. So we're gonna use this meter here and we're gonna see how many ohms of resistance we can get out of that. So we're gonna be about 12 feet away. I've got PPE, including headphones in case this thing goes off and we'll see what kind of readings we get. Okay, I'm actually standing behind where you are and we're looking at the meter. From back here, I'm gonna be connecting these wires. Looks like we've got a reading of 2.2 to 2.3 ohms. I'm gonna leave that connected for a minute just to see if there's enough current running through that circuit to heat up that initiator and blow that airbag. All right, so that test I think was successful in that we didn't blow that airbag. We've got one more meter, we're gonna try that. Maybe that meter draws a little bit more current than this one, we'll see, I'm not sure, but we can test. And we're just going to test these leads now on this meter and that looks pretty good. All right, we're going to hook it up now to the extension and we'll see what kind of reading we get. Uh, hopefully we don't blow this airbag. This one seems to be jumping around a little bit more but we're right in the two to 2.2 ohm range. So it's reading about the same, but it doesn't look like there's enough current going through that circuit to deploy any airbags. We were able to test the resistance of that initiator without inflating the airbag. A word of caution though, I would say never try this at home because it's just not worth the risk. Now the moment we've all been waiting for, we're going to see how much current it does take to inflate an airbag. We've got two meters set up now. We'll have the circuit going through this voltmeter and it will record the maximum amperage on the screen. Over here we've got this now set up as a lab scope and this will measure as a graph what this low amp clamp sees as part of the circuit. For our power source, we've got this 12 volt battery sitting over here. So let's get this hooked up and get the party started. All 
All right, everything is hooked up now. I've got my ear can so I don't go deaf. Let's see what happens. All right. See a little bit of smoke coming off of there. Didn't do any damage to the walls or the shelf that it was under. That was pretty crazy. The funny thing is, it was so fast that it did not record on my voltmeter and I'm pretty sure we didn't get anything on the scope either. That's strange. All right, let's go ahead and disarm this thing. So that was pretty cool. I had a lot of fun doing that. I'm a little bit disappointed though that I wasn't able to capture the current that it took to inflate that airbag, but we did get a resistance measurement going through that initiator so we can do some math using Ohm's law. So with 2.2 ohms of resistance going through that initiator and using a 12 volt battery, we can determine that it used right at six amps, maybe a little bit less to inflate that airbag. So there's no meter that I know of that uses that much current to measure resistance. This uses microamps of current, not six amps. So in my opinion, there's no way you can inflate an airbag by accident using a meter but I am not a scientist, I'm not an expert. The only thing that I can say for sure is that you should not try this at home. So I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe got something out of it. I had a real blast. Thanks for watching. To stay up to date on future videos just like this one, click here and click over here to start binge watching tool demos. I won't judge. With 2.2 ohms of resistance going through that initiator, and using this 12 ounce, 12 ounce, 12 ounce bed, 12 ounce.